Welcome to your 15 minute morning metabolism and mood boosting workout. This workout is low impact, it lowers cortisol, increases serotonin for a better mood, and increases your metabolism without hit. I love this routine. You won't need any equipment except for a mat. So let's start out with a nice, easy warm up. Let's take those feet out wide and roll the shoulders back four times. Now inhale up for four. And get ready for a wonderful day ahead of you. I promise you after this routine, you are going to be in a great mood. Okay, take those feet out wide. We're going into quick side lunges here. Just a couple more and we're going to pulse to the left for four. Now to the right. And now we're going to go into two pulses left and right. And really stretch out those inner thighs and warm up those quads. We're going to be working the quads a lot today, so definitely need this. Turn into a lunge, and you're just going to go up and down quickly, stretching out those hamstrings and stretching those calves. Okay, you're gonna hold up for four, and down for four. Now for two, moving a little bit quicker. This is a wonderful warm up. You can do this one anywhere, guys. Great. Okay, let's switch sides. Again, watch your knee. Make sure it doesn't go past your toes. Sometimes you might hear a little popping in your knee. That's totally normal. Don't be scared. Okay, hold it down for four. And bring it up for four. Now we're moving into twos. Watch that knee. Just a couple more. You got this. Turn it to the front. Now we're going to stretch out those hamstrings a little bit more. So you're going to tap the floor and then bring those hands to the hips quickly here. Make sure your toes are pointed forward. Okay, we're gonna hold down for four, nice deep stretch. And you're gonna pull it up for four. Now we're moving into those two counts. Tap for two, pull up for two. I love this one. Warming up those arms as well. Great work, and you guys are done with your warm up. March it out, and let's get ready for our standing work. Okay, you made it to your standing work. In these moves, we're going to go a little bit quicker here. So take your feet out wide, and you're going to go into a squat, reaching your arms forward and then pulling them back towards you. Come down and pull. Watch those knees again. Stick your booty out behind you to get proper form. And we are going to pulse down for four, just like we did in that warm up. So pulse three up on four. There you go. Pull those arms towards your stomach. Last one. And this is the fun part. Now you're going to pulse down for two and then up on two, you take a breather. I love that. It's a way of stretching without actually having to stop to stretch. So we keep our body moving, get that metabolism working. Take those feet out into a wide leg plie. And you're going to bring those arms up overhead. And we're going to take same arm as leg, and you're going to pull your elbow down towards the top of your thigh, lifting the same leg's heel off the ground. We're going to pulse down for three up on four on the left side and then pull up. This one is amazing because you're working your biceps, your obliques, your quads, your butt, your calves. I love this move so much. Okay, we're gonna pulse down for two and this is where you take your breather. Down for two. Very 
good. I love this. Just a couple more. Wonderful. March it out. Okay, this next move is going to make you feel like a ballet dancer a little bit. So we're going to work those calves and you're going to pull those arms back behind you with a bent elbow and then cross them in front at the same time as doing a calf raise here. Now this requires a lot of balance. So you're going to pull back for three and then forward on four. I know, too much balance first thing in the morning. Yes, and it shows. Okay, last one. Okay, you're gonna pull back for two and now you get to stretch it out. Pull back for two. It's like an active recovery here. Wonderful. Okay, march it out. Okay, let's go into low impact jumping jacks here. Make sure that you take those arms out wide, really extend them. This will get your heart rate up, I promise. Okay, we're going to go into repeaters here. Switch sides. Now I love this workout because even if you're not a morning person like me, it's totally doable. So now you're going to do two and then roll those shoulders back. That's your active recovery. Yes, it's not so hard that we won't be able to get through it. Great, okay, you're going to extend that leg out to the side, same arms you did with those jacks. Now switch sides. This one takes balance too, sorry guys. Especially when we start those pulses, definitely. If you need to grab a chair to do any of this, please feel free to. There's no rules here. Do what you need to do to get through it. Okay, now we're gonna try that balance. Pulse it out for three. Bring it down, switch sides. Yeah, I don't do so good here. <laughs> Keep going. Now the fun part. You get to lift it up for two and then roll those shoulders back and release the tension in your neck here. You can drop those arms too if you like, like me. All right, wonderful. You're done with standing work. Get ready for floor work. Okay, sitting on our mats here. I know we're only eight minutes in and I'm already dripping sweat. Let's go into the dreaded push-ups. Now, I prefer knee push-ups, especially first thing in the morning, but you guys are totally welcome to go into straight leg push-ups. Just listen to your body, see how you feel. We don't wanna stress you out in any way or raise your cortisol levels too high. This is the hard part. Hold down for three, up on four. I swear to you, this is the most difficult move in the entire routine. So if you can get through this, you're golden. Okay, you get to stretch it out, active recovery here. This one moves pretty quick. So bonus, your heart rate stays elevated. Great, now come onto your stomach. We're going to work the glutes and hamstrings here. So you're going to try to lift your thighs slightly off the mat and point those toes when you curl those legs in. This will really help you isolate the hamstring muscle. Now I have my head off the floor because it helps me to work the lower back a little bit better. But if you're having pain issues, just drop your head to the mat. So as you can see, we're pulsing for three, squeezing on four. Great, now you're going to hold for two and release for two. but if you're still lifting those thighs off the mat, this should be burning. Okay, let's come on up into a plank position here. You're really going to rock those arms, abs, and your glutes. So you're going to alternate, tapping your knees to the floor. This one's kind of quick. Make sure to hold those abs in. 
and we're going to pulse one knee to the mat. So you're gonna pulse for three and up on four. Again, make sure that your back is straight, just like a board. Okay, and now you're going to hold for two and stay up for two in that plank. Hold for two, you got it. Last two. I know it's getting harder. Just stick with it, you're almost done. Okay, coming back down on your stomach. Now you're going to get into the same position like you were with those hamstring curls, lifting the thighs off the mat. But this time your feet are flat and your heels are touching each other. You're going to lift those feet like you're pushing up the ceiling. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Sometimes this might hurt your pelvic bones, so you can put a towel underneath your hips if you need. Pulse for three, down on four. And see, we have a little cadence here. Okay, last one. Now you're going to hold up for two and down for two. Squeeze that butt. Nobody else can do it for you. That would be weird. Okay. Now we're going to work those abs a little bit more. So come down onto your back with your knees bent here. Bring them up towards your chest at a 90 degree angle. And make sure when you do these crunches that your low back is on the floor. Move your legs into whatever position you need to to make that happen. And exhale as you bring your head up towards your knees and inhale as you come down. So you're pulsing for three, down on four. And again, try not to pull your head with your hands here. Let your abs do the work. Okay, you're going up on two and down on two. This routine is great for people who are even dealing with pain issues because we're doing really low range of motion here and low reps and no weight. So it's great for everybody. Okay, we're working our lower abs. Tap that floor. Watch your low back again. Tap for three, up on four, same leg. We want to work one side, make it burn. Tone up those abs. We hold for two, up for two. Hold for two. Last one. And we have to switch sides. Tap for three, bring it up on four. So much fun. You should be feeling this in your lower abs by now. Tap for two, pull in for two. Great, great work. Bring those knees in towards your chest. You guys did it, that's it, you're done. Make sure you stick around for our little stretch here at the end. It's your reward for a job well done. Okay, lovely. Now you're going to go into a butterfly stretch here. Press your elbows into your knees. And if you can't come down quite as far, don't worry about it, just go down to the point where it feels comfortable. We're going to stretch out our low back and obliques. And let's switch sides. This one's great if you have digestive problems. Okay, you're going to open up the chest here and the abs, lean back. Cross those legs in front of you, shoulder rolls. And you're going to do a side oblique stretch here. Reach as far as you can. And let's switch sides. Thank you guys so much for watching Coco Lime Fitness. I really appreciate the support. And if you guys like this video or you have any thoughts or comments, please put them in the box below. If you know anyone dealing with chronic health problems, please spread the message. Let them know about our little community so we can keep these videos coming and we can help more people. 
Thanks again. I hope you have a wonderful day.